Hello, everybody. Welcome back live to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel, where in this live stream or video, if you're watching this catch up, we are going to be going to the new Teesside International Airport. Oh, my God. The excitement. The excitement. Not only is it a reopening for, for passengers, for public, to, to use a Teesside Airport. Oh, my God. No, I mean, heart-pounding excitement. I mean, airports. For a start, airports are exciting, let's face it. But an airport in Teesside that's not been used for a while, but actually has been used, but is it, it, being reopened to the public. You, and in 2020, you'll be able to fly to Mallorca. It's pretty good for people in Teesside. They don't get to see sunlight that much, unless you include the nuclear radiation and... Uh, well, you, you, they don't even have electricity in Teesside. Power cuts recently. Well, so uh, this is exciting. So we're going to fly from uh, from from Kent to uh, the new Teesside Airport. Wow. Um, we're using X Plane Eleven. We're using uh, Orbex. Let's let's go. Hello, the mic man, the milk man. Hello, Poods. Let's, let's just go. No intros. Look, this is flight simming, not driving simming. Whoa, no intro, no intro. Look, it's not, x Plane 11 is not on that. Look. Oh, oh no. No, we're just going to go straight to the sim. Hello. Hey, guys. Give me a shout in chat if everything's working. Hopefully it is. Um, I might burst into flames. Uh, it's the hottest day ever in the history of the UK right now. <laughs> So uh, let's let's warm up the 1080 Ti and uh, let's die of heat exhaustion. Why not? I've got uh, some iced coffee in my uh, I own water bottle. If you're getting a water bottle, get one of these from Amazon. Use my Amazon affiliate link. Best water bottle you can buy. They were on sale in the Amazon sales. Make sure you get the right size one though. They do three sizes. Make sure you get the 650 milliliter one. The small one's too small, and the big, big one's too big. Yeah, I quite like the Northeast. Joking aside, I lived in uh, Middlesbrough for like six years. <laughs> well, Middlesbrough and uh, South Shields. I quite like the Northeast. I, I like taking the piss out of it as well, but I like it. It's chilled out, to, to be honest. Um, I would prefer to live in Middlesbrough than I would a lot of places in Kent. <laughs> and especially places in London. Uh, you know, let's, uh, let's new flight here. I think we're going to have to take a passenger jet. You know, seeing as that's what they've opened. We could take the Air Force One. <laughs> should we, uh, se which, which 747 should we go for? This is a new... This, we'll go for this one. This is the new one, I think. The newish one. Uh, and let's take off... I'm thinking uh, we could take off from... Uh, are you from... Dur I've been to Durham. Did you go to Durham University? Hey, James W. Uh, yeah, let's, let's take off... I've just installed some new Orbex stuff. So, Orbex, London City, and... Dono, Donington Airport. I've installed it. Hopefully it will work. So let's take off. I think we should take off from London City. That's kind of our like. What's where we always take off from? But I've just installed the new stuff. So let's give that a go. Fortunate enough to be born here. Oh, no. Durham's quite nice, though. Durham's expensive. I've walked around. Durham's got a nice river. It's a bit hilly there, though. That's the only downside of that. Uh, London City. This takes a while to load, guys, so... Uh, <laughs> Why is this saying not 3D? Well, let's see what happens here. We've just... This should be the Orbex version of it. I might have, I might need to reorganise in Windows, so it might not work. Well, let's find out. We'll see. <laughs> if we end up uh, in the water or not. Uh, start flight. We'll start... We'll go in the day. I do. Right. Uh, oh, my controllers. Just double check that they're all set up. Ah, 
I think we are. I think we're all right. Let's just go for it. So yeah, it's going to take a while to load. Does that explain have Slovenia in it? Uh, well, it's got the whole world, but most of the world in it is very like low res. Mo most of X Plane 11 terrain is kind of good at 30,000 foot and above. But below that, you need to use. Um, you can get Ortho for XP for free, which lets you then scan real world, like Bing and Google, into it. To be honest. If you're not in Flight Sims at the moment, I would just wait for Flight Sim 2020 because that looks super, super interesting. Uh, x Plane 11 is really good either way, but now is probably not a good time to pick it up and start getting invested into it. Just wait to see what x Plane 2020 is like, uh, Flight Sim 2020 is like. It is a bit, bit warm, Gary. Welcome along, Mr. RGB. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, have any of you in chat got a uh, Ryzen uh, 9 in the UK? Because I've been looking online. It seems that no one's got them. They've all got them in pre-order on the 30th. So is it the case that the Ryzen 9s aren't out in the UK yet? A lot of the shops have the 2000, uh, the, the Ryzen 7, 3 700s and 3 800s. But yeah, this is weird. I'm, I'm wait. I'm holding off getting doing the uh, sim, the uh, game of muscle, PC uh, upgrade. I think we're gonna go full Ryzen nine, maximize it, maximum rendering. The Ryzen nine is the, their twelve core chip. It's weirdly, I've been researched it a lot more. We we kind of have um. A bit of a strange situation with the Ryzen processors in the in many ways if you're if you're just gaming the three the Ryzen 3 700 the uh, the Ryzen 5 sorry the Ryzen 5 is it 5 3 700 I'm getting confused with the numbers here but the, the one below the Ryzen 7 is actually for gaming and most things perfectly fine so the Ryzen 7, 3700 and 3800 are, are good. Like, I mean, they're, they're fine, but it's like if you're going to spend 200, well, 300, uh, but about, I think it's about 300, 350 for the 3700. If you've got that kind of budget for that, then you might as well. I mean, surely if you could, if you could afford 350 pounds of CPU, you can afford the 200, 200 to get the 9 series if you're using it as a work computer I mean, if you use it as a gaming computer then you could just get the 150 200 pound processor that, you see what i mean you see what i'm saying here it's a little bit priced a bit weird uh yeah intel processors for pure gaming are uh faster for, for single core but only by like in terms of real game frame rates you're talking maybe five fps three fps it's all right well yeah make say let's say five six fps but then if you also use your computer for productivity the ryzen chips absolutely smash the intel chips uh if you're doing video rendering i mean if you do photoshop that's single core dependent and gaming so in intel intel would be a good choice for pure pure gaming literally pure gaming and literally pure photoshop and some other tasks but if you're using a computer as like a general computer so say you do video recording if you live stream off a single pc uh, which i don't <laughs> but if you do video editing and video rendering or you do any sort of like processing type stuff uh you know like process typical multi-threaded processor intensive stuff then the ryzen chips a good one to go for yeah thanks to uh ryzen uh intel the uh, ryzen intel have been forced to lower their prices so everyone's a winner really He 
medium rare stage. Yeah, so Paul Keeble, where did you order it from? I see, I'm not an Intel or AMD fanboy. I'm, I'm just a whatever is the best value for money. <laughs> so I've been buying, I used to always buy AMD. And uh, the last sort of six or so years, I've always bought Intel. No, it takes a really long time to load with all the scenery I've got installed and the hard drive I've got it on isn't the best. The, the rise in excitement is because AMD for the for the past six or seven years haven't competed with intel at all uh, in terms of like value f actual raw value for money um they they with the previous cut uh chips they competed a bit in terms of multi-threaded but the single threaded still wasn't there especially on the high end it was still the case that you might as well just get an intel processor in general if, if you're sort of mid-high to high end um and Intel have basically just been like, ah, oh, well, if we if you want more cores, you have to buy a rid like a eight hundred pound, thousand pound chip. You know, you have to go mental if you want that kind of performance at home. So what's really happened with the new AMD chips is um, you you get workstation performance at a, 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 a normal price, so you get like insane performance for video editing and rendering all that kind of stuff. But you also with the Ryzen chips, get good single-threaded performance. So if you buy, if you buy like the, the the Ryzen 7 or the Ryzen 9 or whatever, you're getting something that's effectively the same speed as the Intel chips, um, but a lot cheaper, but also um, a lot faster, like twice as fast when it comes to doing intensive tasks. Um, it, it was a lot cheaper when it launched. Intel have had to respond by dropping their prices massively. So the, the, the big thing is, for, for everybody, is that now we're at a position where Intel are like, oh, shit, <laughs> we need to do something. And AMD are competing with them. So from the consumer's perspective, Intel are going to have to bring out better processors. Uh, so although though Intel, as we say, are still faster for single-threaded performance, um they they've uh, they've had to bring their prices down on the whole anyway so presumably next gen will end up with intel being better single threaded and maybe on a par multi thread with amd but at a similar competitive price to the amd chips so all in all everyone just gets better processes for cheaper that's that, that's the that's why people are excited everyone just gets better processes faster computers for cheaper that's where we're at, and that's that's where, where the excitement's come from. Also, from a sort of enthusiast processor perspective, a bit foggy. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've got the London City there. Oh, yeah, so this is this is the uh, new airport, uh, Orbex airport stuff. It's a lot better than the default. Um, we've had years where it had been super dull, like nothing massive had changed. And with these new Ryzen chips, though the single threaded performance isn't crazy, um, it, it is a it is very interesting. It's, like, it's a quite big shake up. Oh, there's a problem loading. Oh, it did load. Oh, well. Don't think it's loaded fully, but it has loaded the airport. Maybe not completely. So... We've got the uh, London Olympic stuff on here, I think. What's this about? Keeping the nation sweet. <laughs> oh, it's the Tate and Lyle advert. <laughs> London City Airport actually has uh, interesting air traffic controlling that it's done remotely. There's, there should be like a tower somewhere, but it's all webcams. It's like a webcam tower. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm running on some like medium graphic settings, not maximum. Right, I think we're ready to get flying here. Yeah, I'm just waiting back. I've contacted some companies. I'm hoping to maybe get some like equipment sponsored, but I'm pretty much the, until the nine series processor can be ordered. I can't build it anyway, so 
But yeah, we, we are, I'm looking at replacing my main system from an i5 6700K to a uh, AMD chip. And then, uh, yeah. No tea ads. Yeah, why the uh, sh dirty sugar in the tea? So here we go. Uh, put the keyboard here. We will... We're flying to Donington first. Uh, I don't know if it is long enough. <laughs> Typically, you don't land 747s at this airport. Uh, this is like a... Private airport, mostly. In... Yeah. So, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Look how high this aeroplane is off the ground. Oh, look at that. I don't know what the free cam button is. Oh, there we go. Look at that. You can see London behind us there. Millennium Dome. <laughs> this is way too, way too big for this runway. It's going to be a tight... Ah, oh, that's enough clip. That's enough runway. It's, that's plenty. It's going to be pretty close. We probably, we'll probably take off it around about here. We'll probably clip some buildings. We might, we might remove some windows. What a unit! We could probably do with reversing a bit more. But yeah, they've done a really good job with the details here. I've actually walked over this bridge in real life. If you uh, live in Greenwich, uh, you probably walked over that bridge. There's the, is it EDXL Centre? That's where they're going to be doing the Formula E uh, going into this building behind us here. Which uh, be cool. It's going to be the first indoor-outdoor racetrack. Yeah, they've done a good job here. I mean, the water's an X-plane thing. I think I could probably update that. Yeah, I think I might go to that Formula E thing. It's, it's a bit pricey, but I think, I think it could be interesting. don't know what this is over here i'm not too familiar with the uh, i mean it's part of the airport structure this is all part of the um add-on oh look we've got the uh fire brigade we're all lit up and ready they know what we're like <laughs> they they know what we're gonna do look at that glowing glowing for a going fly me i've never I, i've never is that a travel lodge there i've never been to london city airport myself though Oh, there's the uh, DLR. Doc I think that's part of the Docklands Light Rail. Goes all the way through. Goes all the way up um, into uh, Canary Wharf. And the, uh, this is another part of Orbex. As you can see, the uh, gondola. This goes across the Thames to the uh, where the London Olympics. Um, is, Stra is it Stratford? S oh, I don't know. You know, it goes across River Thames. Put that in, in for the Olympics. Hey, Aaron Ball. Message for the passengers. Yeah, we're taking off. I, what's the uh, zoom in and out? Oh, look at that. That's a really nice ground texture. What's the... Um... Whoa! Woo! It's like we're on a roller coaster. <laughs> what's the... Um... Oh, Matrix camera. What's the button to zoom out? Ah, oh, that's cool. Come here, I've got my shades on in the cockpit here. That looks awesome. That's a screenshot, that. Uh, we're taking off in a second. Yeah, we're just warming up the engines. Here's a bit of a interesting tidbit about this plane for you guys that uh, want to know about 747s because I know how much you're interested in it. Originally, the uh, 747 was designed to be a, uh, a cargo plane, I believe, for the military, for the American military. And uh, the reason it has this top bit in it is that it was originally going to contain, uh, I think it was going to contain air conditioning stuff. And the idea was that the, uh, the nose could, could lift up and you'd be able to load stuff onto the front of it by, uh, by lifting that up. That's why the uh, why it's got that such a big bulge on top of it here, for the uh, for the crew, and then when they turned it into when they decided for it to be a passenger airline, they put all the air conditioning stuff in the bottom, and uh, turned this into like a luxury area, which is why you've got this like you normally have like a little cafe, <laughs> little cafe area there, and then the first class business and what have you at the top, 
So there you go, a bit of uh, 747 facts that are probably totally wrong. But that's, that's, I seem to remember that being the case. Look at that, it's a beast of a plane. All right, NATO 9. Yeah, this will help you sleep. I'm starting to know too much about aeroplanes. I'm just going to have to jump off the bridge. But before we go, I just need to fix this chat room. Because it keeps breaking. And I don't know why it keeps breaking. It's been doing this recently. It's really annoying. Let's try using Chrome on my other computer. So I can actually see the chat room. You start... The more you play flight simulators, the more you turn into a, into a plane spotter. Mind you, I think plane spotters aren't as bad as train spotters. I don't know. They're both pretty bad. Look at the baggage handler there. Right, let's try this. Okay, hopefully that works. Oh, the uh, that's weird. Chrome does uh, text scaling a lot better than uh, Explorer or Microsoft Edge or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Amphetamine salts, what's that? Oh yeah, could someone does someone know what the zoom in and zoom out button is, uh, or like a free what the free camera button is, so we can walk around? I want to walk around the plane. In VR, you just point out the aircraft and you can walk around. I'm all right, uh, demonic gaming. I'm, I'm in my basement. It's not too hot in the basement. I've got a fan blowing on me. Uh, outside, it's very hot. Right, I think we're ready to take off here. I was just enjoying the graphics. Good job, Orbex. All oh, right. Well, so it was probably just cocaine, to be honest. Right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, aboard this London City flight to the newly opened Teesside International Airport. Now, we don't know if their runway is long enough to land on, and we don't know if this runway is long enough to take off on. So, again, we've handed out forms to the passengers that you can fill out uh, that waiver any responsibility of Gamer Muscle Airlines for you dying. Uh, this invalidates any life insurance policies you may have. This also gives us full rights to uh, to ignore the fact that we've killed you. Um, we will be taking a slight detour on this flight and flying over the beautiful Donington Airport and East Midlands, East Midlands Airport. Donington Raceway <laughs> and East Midlands Airport. We'll be landing at East Midlands Airport for a Starbucks stop. Uh, there's no duty free there because it's, it's a rubbish airport, but but we'll, we'll enjoy it. You'll be able to have a pee break there. So, unfortunately, the toilets are out of order on this aircraft today. The the hot weather has caused the toilets to evaporate. There's no water on this plane at all. So make sure you pick up water from the River Thames, which might give you dysentery. But uh, that's the only water we've got available. Um, other than that. Uh, Please keep your arms and legs inside the aircraft. And in the event that the aircraft is inverted, which will quite likely happen at some point during this flight, uh, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. Uh, uh, the seatbelt light will be remaining illuminated throughout the entirety of this flight because we'll probably crash. Uh, okay, here we go. We're ready. We're ready. Thank you for flying with Game of Muscle Airways. Hello, Andrew Levy. A Andrew Levy. Look, it's your office. It's your office, Andrew Levy. Look. <laughs> Look. Wave. Wave, Andrew Levy. He's in, the, he's in the Barclays building. There he is. There's Andrew Levy selling PPI from the Barclays building window. Look, there he is. If you look closely through the blur there, there's Andrew Levy. Right. He's got PPI to sell. Let's go, guys. Let's put the... Uh, Put the flaps down. We're going to go... I'm going to go for high flaps because... Uh, 
Let's go for 25. And... Uh... Oh. Oh, I have to. I have to have. <laughs> I have to have my Formula wheel on, otherwise my brakes don't work. That's how aeroplanes work, guys. Sorry, I forgot about that. I forgot about that aspect of aeroplanes. I'm such a new pilot. Let's just wait for the uh, for the wheel to. Uh... These flaps take a while. No rush. There we go. There we go. We got. We got brakes now. <laughs> We've got the uh, parking brake is disabled. I think I might hold the parking brake down and the uh, the wheel brakes so we can get maximum power. Get ready, guys. Uh, all forms have been signed. Uh, Andrew Levy is boarding. Nice one, Andrew Levy. He's, he's in the business class. All that PPI he's sold is allowed him to buy a luxury ticket. Off we go. Let's... Power up. Hold those brakes down. Load it up. You can see the, the the plane loading down there. Maximum torque. Go, go, go. We're rolling. Oh, dear. This is going to be a close call, guys. <laughs> flap, your, flap your arms out the windows. Oh, oh, no. Oh, we've got a lift. We're getting lift. We've got... Oh, we're making it. I had my... <laughs> I had the... Uh, landing gear up. I had the... Um, trim set totally wrong. That's why it took off by itself. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I guess you're supposed to check that normally. Oh, well. That was a pretty smooth takeoff. I have to say, we did a good job there. Ten points to Gryffindor. Let's fly over Andrew Levy's office and make our way to East Midlands Airport. Look at this beautiful terrain. We need a bit more altitude. Remember, guys, altitude is time. To And that allows you to glide when you inevitably run out of fuel, which we have a habit of doing. Look at that. London site. London's burning, literally, today. Level it out. Smooth flying. Look at that. So they've done a fantastic job of London City with Orbex there. You've got all the nice details. You get the EDXL centre in the, in the normal Orbex. Absolute beauty. Wave to Andrew Levy. I oh, know he's in the plane with us. I oh, was in Brig. Ah, oh, you've not boarded the plane. That's it. We're, we're off. You're not coming to Dono. Oh, you're in the you're in the Gherkin. I thought you were in the uh, London City down there. I thought you were part of the private empire. There's the House of Parliament in front of us. We're getting, we're gaining out you this throttle down a bit. We do, you don't typically keep the throttles on absolute max. In, uh, you know, you can throttle down pretty soon in a 747. There he is. There's Andrew Levy. Whoa, can we see him? Oh, there he is down there. Wave to Andrew Levy. <laughs> the... Three dollar super chat. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate that. That what are you uh, ordering from the bat from the um, there's Battersea uh, power power station. What are you uh, ordering? Pink Floyd album cover. What are you ordering from the uh, from the duty free trolley that's coming through the aircraft at this point in time? Are you going to the bar? <laughs> Where are you seated, Scott? On our beautiful luxury game of muscle flight. Do you just like a cup of tea? We do really good Twinings tea on this aircraft. Choice between uh, Twinings, Lidl's Gold Blend, and uh, or we have instant coffee. We don't have any fresh coffee because uh, I just like to wind up Italians. Look at this. I think that's uh, London Heathrow. No, yes. Yes, that's London Heathrow in front of us. I should know this, but I don't. 
Look at that view, guys. Absolute babe. Let's put the flaps up a bit here. This, this plane's a beast. I think that's uh, Chel uh, what's it called? I always forget what it's called. There we go. There's Barnes and what have you. Kingston on Thames over there. Is it Chelsea Gardens? I always forget what it's called. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was just walking across these bridges uh, a few weeks ago. I would like to buy some peanuts. Oh, peanuts, sure thing. Uh, you paid in uh, sex, though. We, we, uh, this game of Muscle Airlines only accept payment in uh, dicks and uh, euros. We don't even use pounds now because they're not worth anything. So, <laughs> so I'm sorry, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I tell you what, I'll convert it for you. I'm a generous pilot. Thank you, M82, for that donation. Uh, your peanuts will be delivered to your seat. Uh, by one of our hot Ukrainian air hostesses. The troll toll. No, the uh, one of the so one of the bridges. Um, Hammers is it Hammersmith Bridge or is it Barnes Brit? I don't know. One of the bridges has uh, no longer no longer is allowed to be passed by vehicles because it's it was built 150 years ago and it's falling apart and. Uh, Hammersmith Council don't want to accept responsibility and the government doesn't want to accept responsibility and they believe it will take maybe three years to fix. Not like not like a bridge in central London, or not really central London, but, you know, not like a bridge near the centre of London could possibly be useful for people and will want, people will want to use vehicles to cross it. No, don't worry about that. Right, we need to turn right if we want to go to Dono. We're off to the Midlands, guys. The ISS? Not in this plane we can't. Kids voice. Look at this view. I'm going to stay at this altitude. We feel, I feel like we're about 20,000. No, we're not even at 20,000. This feels like 15,000 or so. Oh, there you go. 17,000 foot. I believe it's in foot, not meters. Is it in feet or meters? I don't know how airplanes work. I'm not, I'm not a pilot. Is that in feet or meters? Miles per hour... No. What is, is that in foot? Someone tell me if that's in foot. <laughs> I don't know if they measure it metric or imperial or whatever. I mean, a foot's a bit of a stupid measurement, isn't it, really? Let's get the map back on here. There we go, we're flying the right way now. It is in feet, so we're at 19,000 foot. We're still climbing. Let's throttle off. Let's, let's take it around 15,000. Yards. <laughs> It's in uh, cubits. It's in uh, beetle's testicles. The uh, international measurement of beetle's testicles. Look at the draw distance, guys. This is uh, like the draw distance of a million Nintendo 64s. Unbelievable. Imagine trying to run this on an N64. You probably get like <laughs> a, a one window, a plain window. This is what it would look like on the N64 when looking at the ground. Wow, it's photorealistic. This is the N64 view. Look at that. We're coming to the airport. Oh, there's a, there's the runway there. <laughs> so this seems so advanced. You've got the N64 view built into the cockpit. Amazing stuff. This plane's really stable. Let's throttle down a bit here. We're going way too fast. Uh, we're going to the northeast. It's pretty cold up there. I'm playing in 1440p. M82, how are your peanuts? Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at these beautiful chairs. We're at, uh, at 17,040. It gets a bit chilly. The higher you go, the colder it gets. 
Hey, Burns. What are we flying over here? We are just north of London. Um, hmm. I do not recognise it. We should fly over Silverstone, guys. That's round. That can't be... Uh, Milton Keynes, can it? We're in that direction. I need to install that thing that puts the uh, Google Maps on it. Does that look like Milton Keynes? It looks square. It looks suspiciously square. If we can see Silverstone out this window, then we know that's Milton Keynes. Or maybe even Bedford Autodrome. Can you see... Can you see a Silverstone? A football club over there. Uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck getting uh, X Plane 11 to run at 4K. I'll be interested to see Frank Zappa. What town is this? Does anyone recognise it from the air? I don't. I don't recognise it. It'd be nice if it had place names on there. Uh... Yeah, with nothing turned on, that's it. If you try running the uh, Orbex with all the terrain on, you'll have, a, you'll have an interesting time. Look at our conventional flight path here. BNN, hang on, what's this airport? Here we go. It will tell us. London Luton Airport on our right. Oh, we need to fly a straight line here. Bletchley, it could be. Is that in that it's in that right location? My peanuts are very salty. Thank you. Well, I, Game of Muscle Airways prides itself on having the saltiest of uh, snacks. Our peanuts are <laughs> the saltiest that can be found. It's mostly eye racers that we farm our salt from. Oh, what is that? Could, that... We're too far north for that to be red in. Well, I need to get that Google Maps add on. This is just an embarrassment. There's Bletchley Park. <laughs> Probably it could be actually. Yeah, I, I thought we found mo most our salt from I races and uh, etc. Of course, competition players. Oh, here we go. We've got a nice World War Two airport coming up here. What's this one? Bedford Castle. Oh, hang on. Bedford Autodrome, guys. We've accidentally... We're accidentally flying over Bedford Autodrome. It's happened. The accidental racetrack has been discovered. There you go. I think that is Bedford Autodrome. <laughs> Doesn't... They haven't like, got all the detail there. We've got like a little test track thing. There you go. There's Bedford Autodrome by the air, guys. You could land on it. You'd probably crash into a Palmer Jaguar, JPM. <laughs> Look at the pace we've got in this. Right. We're not. We're about half halfway already to uh, East Midlands. Nottingham. East Midlands should be pretty uh, close. East EG. Whoa, we're going through the clouds here. Let's take a bit more speed off here. There you go. EG ENX. EG NX. We're a little bit off. Let's fly a little bit left here. 
My god, the fact that we actually knew where that was pretty close. Whoa, clouds! It's pretty hot in here. It's probably about it's probably about 27, 28 degrees. My basement is pretty good unless uh, we, well, when we play this, it starts warming up because the graphics card. Hey, Eldrin, why was this recommended to you? Um, I don't know. I think your computer probably hates you. Uh, we're, we're probably one of the most uh, depressing channels on the internet, so maybe you've got depression. It's depressed people tend to find each other and then wallow in depression together. So welcome along. <laughs> Hope you like flight sims and driving sims. We need to throttle down here. We're gaining altitude. I'm not even trying. Look at this. So, for those of you not in the UK, you've never been to the UK, this is... Uh, oh, so that, hang on, that must be Milton Keynes then over here. Yeah, those of you that have not been to the UK, I mean, this is uh, this is UK, just fields. Fields and tea bags. Northampton, no, it's Northampton then. Turning too much. Stop turning. I never played drive or flight sims. I heard they were fun. Yeah, you should get into them. So, well, don't actually. Don't get into them. Go outside. Enjoy life. Make some friends. Don't just get a PlayStation and be done with it. Don't get into PC sims. It's all downhill. My life was so much better when I just had a Dreamcast. You know, N64 and a Dreamcast. It was good times. What is this place here? Sea see well. I need to get Google Maps. So it's a really good way of learning where stuff is. But you really need Google Maps add-on. We are flying way too far uh, west now. Apparently I used to have a life. I don't know. I can't remember. It was so long ago. <laughs> I've always lived on a computer. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the uh, three-quarter point of our flight to... Uh, well, we're, we're now halfway to Teesside Airport, give or take. Uh, but we are soon arriving at our first stop, which is uh, London, uh, East Midlands Airport. Uh, we're going to do a flight over Donington, uh, otherwise known as Dono Race Circuit by the locals. Uh, we, we will try and land over over Dono onto the onto uh, the airport. Uh, please be aware that we might die in the process, so uh, you should be able to get mobile phone signal at twenty thousand foot. So now is a good opportunity to phone loved ones and let them know that uh, indeed your life is coming to an end in about probably about 15 minutes time uh, plenty of warning for you there guys uh, that's the service we offer right where, where is it we've lost it again now oh it's down here there we go we are actually bang on target That's probably not the term you want to use in a plane. Bang, bang on target. This is your captain speaking. We are now bang on target. Any of you want to go to the download fest uh, festival at Donington? I think that happens late summer. Get some rock music going. Hello, hello, Ultrafax. My IPD is uh, sixty seven. Is that Nottingham in front of us? It's either Nottingham or Derby or Leicester. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that a river? 
Oh, Christ. Oh, we might have just killed the sim. No. Right. If that if that's next to a river, then it's then it's Leicester and it's the rugby pitch. Doesn't look like it. It's the right colour for the for Leicester City. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where the Top Gear stuff is. Oh yeah, that's less. That'll be Leicester then. Where's the uh, the the rugby? We're just flying over Leicester. 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 <laughs> Anybody in chat from Leicester? That's how they say it locally. Leicester. I've been to Leicester quite a few times when I was a, a wee kiddo. Used to go to the uh, Leicester roller derby, <laughs> roller disco. Oh, and they also had Laser Quest, and Leicester was the home of um, the home of virtuality, one of the first ever arcade uh, VR uh, machine. Attempts at making VR mass market. Leicester! <laughs> Leicester Fish Market. Or, or as Americans call it, I'm just translating this to American. Down below you'll see Leicester. <laughs> That's for Sean Cole. Hi guys, I'm Sean Cole and I'm your co pilot. Underneath the plane you will see Leicester. We're going to be landing at Donington to drive a Pugat all the way from Leicester to to Donning, Donington. <laughs> oh dear. Poor Sean Cole. Well, that's probably Derby up there. Seeing is in the Midlands you've got Nottingham, Leicester, Derby all kind of dotted between each other. Lot Oh, you should be able to see Loughborough from here. Lot <laughs> There's a uh, military airfield somewhere around here that I've been to as well. For super secret activities. I don't know where it is. Somewhere near Nottingham. Con conveniently, Donington uh, racetrack is literally. Uh, next to uh, East Midlands Airport. So it's rather good that the Orbex have added East Midlands. Uh, I don't know why they picked East Midlands, but it's nice that they did, because it's another track with an airport. They seem to love circuits with airports. Uh, airports with circuits, wrong way round. Dyslexia strikes again. Yeah, because they've got uh, Goodwood, and now they've got Dono. They need to add uh, Silverstone. Oh, that's actually not really an airport anymore. Uh, they should add... Uh, they should add uh, Paul Ricard. <laughs> so we can land there. Nice and smooth. Where is this airport? I'm going to fly over it. And then we'll... Uh, then we'll attempt to land in. Is that it? Is that East Midlands? It's a lot bigger than I seem to remember. I think it might be. So the racetrack should be in front of it. Or behind it. Hang on. Well, that must be it. So the racetrack should be over here. Ah, oh, they're not modelled the racetrack. Or is my bloody planes in the way? Uh, oh, oh, there it is. There it is, guys. They've modelled Donington. There's Donington GP. <laughs> it's right next to the airport. Look at that. 
proper detail there. There's the uh, famed chicane of death. Pretty detailed, to be honest. Have, have we got cars going around it? We'll find out as we get closer. Let's not crash into the ground here. We're a bit high, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to power off and we'll fly around. We are at like 20,000 foot here. Yeah, 19,000 foot. So let's uh, come around. Go slow over dodge. Well, we'll land. We'll land at East Midlands, and then we'll swap for like a, a small plane, fly around Donington, and then we can. Uh, then we can um, just put landing gear down. Then we can go back in a jet to to get to Teesside. We're getting some speed here, guys. See, big, uh, big plane. Like, if you're ever afraid of flying, you should uh, go in a flight sim in like a 747. Yeah, you'll be like, oh, actually, these things are really hard for a pilot to crash. They're like bloody passenger ferries in the air. What is Teesside? It's, uh, it's a place that few people dare talk about. <laughs> It's a small uh, town in the northeast, famed for its Blue Bridge. Uh, there's a couple of games companies based there. The uh, guys that make Prison Architect are based in uh, Teesside, or ne at least near it. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> oh dear. Let's nosedive here. Let's, we've got a bit too much altitude. I should have started coming down a bit sooner. No, we've got fresh biscuits. We've got shortbread today. Uh, shortbread and bourbon rich tea biscuits. That beep is telling me that we're going way too fast. But that's life. I, I live in the fast lane. This is this is the uh, the approach that you take in a war zone. That's the, every approach I do is like this. Uh, you can loop this, but it's a bit risky. Right, I'm going to do a go past here, and then we're going to turn left, and then we'll come back. We'll fly over. Dono. Look at these details. Three different bits. We do, uh, on Game of Muscle Airways, we do a biscuit selection uh, and a tea, bag, tea selection. We know, how to, we know how to keep our passengers content. Yeah, we, we have bourbon biscuits, we have shortbread, we have rich tea. Uh, look, we, we do... Everyone... On today's flight, gets a box of Fox's selection. Wow. We're going to fly with Game of Muscle every time. Get those biscuits, guys. I've, I've put the flaps down a bit. We should use the reverse thrusters in the air. You can't do that now. Um, you used to be able to. Like, there, There's been cases where planes have crashed because they've accidentally put the thrust reversers <laughs> on during the it whilst in flight. She's not recommended. Uh, for those of you that don't know, thrust reverses are basically like they're like hinged baskets that are on the back of the uh, the engines, and they they like well, the the front of the engine. They sort of cup over it, and then they the thrust hits it. No, on the back of the engine, the thrust hits it, and then it ends up pushing it the other way. It's not like the engines actually go in reverse. That would be absurd. Here we go. Yeah, it's a shame you need. I mean, it's gonna be. I don't know how much X-Plane benefits from multi-core. It's going to be really interesting to see how much uh, rise and chip and like a new, a totally new system, what kind of performance we can get out of X-Plane with it. 
Yeah, so we're just we're gonna land at um, East Midlands here, and uh, then we will change to a small aeroplane that we can fly around Dono a bit and have a look at it. Not quite sure if we're lined up with the runway here. This is the problem in daytime. We, you can put a flight platform on your um, computer screen, but I don't have it set up because I don't know how to set it up. Um, it's easier at night. Let's have a look. Let's let's cheat again. This is how you get to. This is how you uh, find aeroplanes. Oh, beast! Oh, look at that! Here we go. BC's become a channel member! Thank you! Thanks, BC. Welcome to the channel. Really appreciate that. Get your teapots out. Is that, are you a new member or are you continuing? Oh, we're losing altitude here. That's uh, a bit more speed. A bit too soon. We're now stalling. Don't worry about that, guys. I'm just warming up the uh, just warming up the uh, the ground a bit. Whoops, a daisy. As I say, it's like a big cruise ship. Where's the air? Where's the runway? Oh dear, we're flopping all over the place here. Calm down, Boris. Oh Christ. Stalling, stalling. I know what we're doing. I'm just giving you guys a bit of a roller coaster ride to keep this flight entertaining. <laughs> it's totally normal for a plane to be seesawing up and down. This is just how it works. Right. I can't actually see the runway here. Why are we seesawing up and down? Is it well we've got too much flap, that's why. Fly <laughs> it's turbulence, guys. I can't see the runway, we need to go Afternoon. Ah, oh, there it is. Right. My mistake. I was a little bit off target there, guys. It's so much easier to land at night. This is another thing. If you're afraid of flying, you probably think you probably think, ah, oh, landing at nights harder than landing in the day but actually it's better for pilots because like, you've got all the lights there it's so much, so much easier to see there we go so <laughs> this pot weather this is pretty warm there's the airport just over there that's not Flying to Donington uh, race circuit, that'd be embarrassing. I can't actually see where the runway is though. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching East Midlands Airport. Your pilot is completely in control, knows exactly where the runway is, and uh, you'll soon be able to grab yourselves some goodies from the duty free. Um, we're We've been informed by uh, East Midlands Airport that they're doing uh, they're doing a 90s DTM model car special that you can take home. Wow! So uh, yeah, that's something to pick up from the duty free. Also, a good opportunity to use the bathroom because the next leg of the journey will be a stunt flight over Donington, and you probably will soil yourselves. Right, let's come in to land here. Where's the bloody runway? <laughs> it's 
not a big runway. I think it's that little bit of tarmac there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's one downside with passenger jets. It's bloody hard to see the runway. When it's lined up, this central column is in the way. Hang on, what's my landing gear coming up? I hope the landing gear's down. I don't know why it just... I don't know why it went up there. There we go. Go. There's the runway. Coming in here, nice and smooth, guys. Where's the speedo on the on the left? <laughs> I don't even know where the speedo is. Oh, okay, that's the stall warning. We're totally in control. Oh, now we've got way too much lift. Everything's so delayed in the passenger jet. And there's Donington. We're flying right over it, guys. Let's not crash into the, pan into the pit lane. Oh, we're going to hit the light bulbs at Donington. Close view of the track. Oh, no. We're coming in a bit too... No, there's race cars there. We've missed the light bulb. It's okay. Jesus. We're stalling ourselves. With this. It's a short runway, so... We okay, that was a bit close. Almost landed on the racetrack there. Smooth. Oh, we've just we just touched the ground a touch there. Okay, let's let's just float it on here. <laughs> Smooth landing coming in. 40, 30, 20, <laughs> that sound of glass breaking is perfectly normal in a uh, passenger jet. There we go. Perfectly fine landing there. We may have uh, hit a few cars with our wheels, but... Hey, Scooby G Sim Racing. 10 out of 10. <laughs> there may be a few broken windows on the ground, a few bodies, but, you know, that's why we get everyone to sign a waiver. They actually have to close down the airports that we're landing at. It's very costly. Does mean there's no queues, though, so... Uh, Pretty good. Here we go. Let's get ourselves to the uh to the building to duty free and change aircraft. What do you mean surprised we made it? We always make it. Hello, Jack Jackson Dennis. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the channel here. The the plane we're in is a little bit oversized for this airport. I'll give you an idea. <laughs> a little bit big for this airport. Put the flaps up here. Alright, Eldrin, thanks for watching, man. And we need to go all the way down there to the actual... Just a tad too big. Look, if you, if you want to fly in luxury, you need a big aeroplane. The, bit, the larger the aeroplane, oh, the wing's going to hit the buildings. I know, we, we're alright. Plenty of clearance. Well, we're going to change for a uh, smaller plane now so we can just fly around Dono. Heads up, get my muscle coming through. Oh, we're going to hit the fuel tanks with our wings here. Hang on, let's get a bit more clearance. Oh, computer says no. Bit of a pause here. There it is. Map had to load. Oh, that's fine. Look, plenty of clearance. 
There we go, straight to the uh, air terminal there. We're going to have to take the second. Ah, oh, no, we're not going to fit between that post. Ah, oh, dear. Jo who designed this airport? I think the largest thing from this airport would be like 737s. That's what you see part there, you sort of bog standard easy jet. Thomas Cook plane, Ryanair. No, uh, I don't see any uh, Norwegian airlines. They're my favourite budget airline. Norway Air all the way. They do good deals on uh, biscuits and stuff. And they've got quite good leg room, relatively speaking. Got the uh, DHL postage planes over there in the distance. That's cool. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Turn, turn, oh, my, turn, turn. Turn. There we go, use the brake to get it to turn. That works. <laughs> Rotate it. Look at that. It's a drift machine. Okay, come on. Uh, do we fit through this? There's another overpriced airport car park if you ever want to... Ah, uh, no. This is not good. Ah, uh, what a fit, guys. I knew we could do it. Right, we'll just park right in front of us here. <laughs> the size of this aeroplane compared to the airport. Hello, Benjamin uh, Brobrican. Ah, oh, the car park is proper nice with all the vehicles in it. Good job, Orbex. There we go. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get... You have to get a little... Uh, We have to get one of the little wagons to uh, take you guys to the terminal. There we go. Right, now let's change for a, a, a stunt plane. That does look really cool. It's actually running reasonably well once it's loaded it in. Okay, let's uh, let's get our uh, EGNX, and let's go for. Oh, I don't know what we could go for. This ah, uh, we. I mean, the, we haven't really got a, like a stunt plane in this. Fighter jet's going to be a bit fast. Cessna's the slowest. Um. We could we could do uh, the Aerolite. <laughs> Hello, Delton. Heli the helicopters don't fly right in this. They're totally wonky. Yeah, let's go for the... Uh, well, the Sirius Vision is too fast. I think we'll just do the uh, Sky at the Cessna. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just swap over to the Cessna so we can fly around Dono. You'll have a job getting a space shuttle to the moon. It's got way too much mass. You can't get enough velocity to get it out of um, orbit. Right. Off we go, guys, to Dono. Which is actually behind us, I think. Oh, this is a little bit more nimble than the uh, passenger jet. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this 
tour flight of Donington racetrack. We'll be doing a lap of Donington in our Cessna here. Oh, look at this. I should have, I didn't even put the flaps down. We're just flying this like a hooligan. Right, we should be able to, at the bottom of the runway, we should be able to line up with the uh, straight, to be honest. There it is, it's the, the right-hander. <laughs> Straight to Donington. That's how close it is to the airport. Woo! Donington in a Cessna, boys. We'll do the short, the short layout. A little bit faster in the plane. Oh, I'm gonna have to fly under the. Oh! Oh, we made it. We made it. There we go. It's just straight. Oh, pull in the G's. Pull in the G's. <laughs> oh, lift, oh, oh. There we go. Down the hill. Left hander. Followed by right hander. Oh, followed by left hander. Oh, Christ. My joystick's come loose. Here we go. Wanna buy another right hander? <laughs> Woo! That's it, guys, and that's a lap of Donington in a Cessna. Let's fly back under the. Uh... Oh, there's a car going round it. Let's fly back under the. Uh... Uh, uh, lower, lower. There we go, it's pretty close. Ooh. He's got flames coming out of his exhaust. We're racing, boys! track oh that's the store warning you don't want to hear that yellow car right let's do it let's let's land on the uh, start finish line we were coming in a bit hot to do that There we go. <laughs> they've, they've not modelled the pit wall. Totally ruined. Immersion ruined. Why not VR? Because uh, Orbex doesn't run too well in VR. Oh, we stopped on the start finish line. I don't know why. Right. Do a lap on the ground. Okay. Here we go. We can use the foot brakes to steer. Oh, man. The, the one thing with the X55 that I think is a shame is it's, uh, it's a little bit sticky. Like the, the, uh, your, the, the rotation for the yaw is uh, very sticky on it. I might. I should probably uh, move the yaw to the... Uh, The Hotas. Here we go. Rudders. No, because I don't have rudders. I, they're banned to foot brakes. The the rudders using the uh, twist, but the twist is really crap on this uh, flight stick. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that understeer, guys. We're understeering. Oh. Hit the apex, guys. Lap time started. 
Could we go too fast? I better put the flaps down just in case uh, we take off here. It's a little bit flat. I have to say this is not laser scanned. Oh, to that tire scrub. Pure understeer in the Cessna. Line it up, guys. Line it up. Hit that corner. Take the power off. Oh, he's understeering. Oh, he's in the he's in the gravel. He's gone wide in his Cessna, but he's rejoined the circuit. He's out of control as he takes the left-hand corner. Unbelievable pace in the Cessna. Tight line, wide into there. Of course, we've got to slow down for the right-hander here. Get that speed off. Use those toe brakes. Oh, it's incredible. He's powering out of the corner. Look at this performance. This is a top Donington GP lap time. Oh, brake, 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 turn. Understeer. Oh, he's in the gravel. He's in the gravel again. Even in flight sims, we're in the gravel. Oh, there's a car passing on the inside. Uh, you don't need you don't need driving sims, flight sims, guys. You can do everything in a in a flight sim. Fly, drive, everything. Right, we're gonna do the full circuit here. I oh, know we it's doing the it's doing the doing the short layout. Come on. Let's do the chicane here, let's nail this. Too much speed, come on. Here we go. Line it up. Power on through. Oh, what a line. Right, we're going to... Like every lap of Donington, we're going to take off at the end of the... Uh, let's put the flaps down here. Let's take off at the end of the start-finish line. And there we go. That was Donington. Donington Car Park, if you ever wondered what that looked like. This is pretty much the same as iRacing, yeah. Identical. Right, let's land it. Oh, should we do should we do a loop de loop and then land? Let's put on a spectacle for the uh, That's uh, not really a loop the loop. That's just a stall. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're in trouble. Ah, oh, we pulled it off. <laughs> just ignore the beeping sound. That's just a hamster underneath the uh, foot pedals. Don't worry about that. We squeezed the hamster too hard. Right, let's try and get a smooth loop here over Donington. Let's try that again. A bit more altitude. A bit more speed there. You can watch replays of it. We'll, we'll try and do it. Hang on. Let's see what happened. Let's see a replay of what just happened. Look at that over, <laughs> look at that pass. We knew exactly we'd up what we're doing here. Here we go. I mean, it's kind of a loop the loop. <laughs> I 
<laughs> They're close to the ground. Right, let's do a proper loop, loop here. Proper one. Got to do it over the start finish line. Hello, Billy. How's it going, man? Right, let's do it. Let's surprise the surprise uh, the stands here. Actually, wait. Get a bit more altitude. Get the trim set right. Right, here we go. Nice one, Billy. I bet you've got air conditioning in your house. You show off. Right, loop the loop over the uh, start finish line. How about we do a loop the loop underneath the uh, <laughs> the uh, start finish banner? That is a genius idea. Race car! <laughs> Woo! Oh, we, oh, we pulled it off! What a line! Do a barrel roll! Hello! Oh no! No! Oh, no. <laughs> oh we're dead. We're dead. Let's watch a replay of that. Whoops! Went a bit too far there with the uh <laughs> bit too much. What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Remember when Game and Muscle videos used to produce sim racing content. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember when he used to do subscriber racing. Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Remember when he had remnants of hair and a morsel of self-respect? We don't either. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> Bloody hell. Off track, 1x. Broken legs, 4x. Right, come on, we'll see this. Here we go. Textbook loop the loop. That was pretty good, that part of it. That was pretty good. This is where it went a bit wrong. I thought I'd do a barrel roll, but this plane got stuck upside down. <laughs> oh no! We've lost the engine! <laughs> oh. Plane's a little bit damaged there. A little bit of damage. Only a touch though. Uh, barely noticeable damage there. It's merely a scratch. I like how the, uh, we've got a shadow for this. Found a quick way to service the aircraft, though. Those of you that paid attention, uh, and those of you that know a lot about flying, um, this is what's known as a non-ideal landing. To be honest, you guys in the back of the aircraft, apart from it being a bit toasty, are probably fine. 
But uh, let's let's do let's let's continue our journey to Teesside. Um, let's take a let's take a fighter jet to Teesside. <laughs> Why not? Let's go for this uh, Phantom F4 Phantom. Should only take like 20, 30 minutes. Here we go. Look at this. Another proper plane. Getting the Formula One driver position. Okay, here we go. Oh, you can use this as like a free camera. Well, it's kind of limited. Right. Off to East Midlands we go. The plane made it to the ground equals ideal. Most of the plane made it to the ground. Right. Did so well in a slower plane. Oh, that... Strangely, faster planes are often easier to fly. It's chilly, dog. Necessity for money. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Happy wine day, James. I've always wanted to tell you, your head reminds me of one of my wife's ass cheeks. <laughs> It's the same shape, has the same amount of fuzz, and has also had male seed on it. Oh my god. Basically, the dame, exact same thing. Toodles, dear. Thank you, chili dog. Right, let's go, guys. Brakes on. Engines up. Cheers for that donation, man. Let's go. Get the speed up here. This plane flies like a brick. Landing gear up. Woo, we're off. Goodbye, Doddington. Just keep it this altitude about. 10, 15,000 foot. We're good. Off we go. Why is it still 29 at 7 pm? Get used to it. This is the new normal temperature for the UK now. do a roll in this plane jet planes are designed to do it Whee! afterburners He live on a flat earth as well. <laughs> Here we go. Flying now. I'm going to fly to the coast and then fly up the coast to uh, Teesside. Shouldn't take too long in this uh, fighter jet. I'm not sure what speed this goes at. I'd imagine Mach 1.5 or so. Maybe... Where's the speedo on this thing? There we go. It's IAS airspeed. So we're at 800. Uh, 
Uh, I would wait for... Uh, and I'd probably wait for... Um, we'll find out more about Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. And then... Uh, but, I mean, yeah, it's a really good game. You do. I'm using the Orbex as well, so that makes the photo terrain... 9 a.m. 27C supposed to be ah oh, yeah but you've got air conditioning Billy. How many airport Midlands has like all the airports, <laughs> all the small airports. There's one there, one one. I mean if you run out of fuel, you're fine. It's fine. Like, let's keep it lower. Billy's always cheating. Can't trust him. Thrustmaster and aircon. The worst kind of cheat. Thrust, Thrustmaster aircon cheater. That's a nice airport. Look at that. Ground's getting a bit close. Here we go. This be all. I mean, imagine having enough money to own a fighter jet and just be able to go out for a fighter jet cruise. Uh, the FPS is um, interesting. I'm running pretty high graphics here. It tends to hover around 30, 40, 35, 40, and then occasionally stutters. Because uh, you really need this game installed on an SSD, and you really need, like, 32 gig of RAM. No VR whilst live streaming, because, um, as I always say, we have a lot of women viewers that want to see my sexy face. And if I put the VR headset on, we'd, we'd lose at least half our viewership. So I can't afford, I can't afford not to uh, show my face off, really. So that's why we have to game in 2d I'm, I'm sorry but i just get complaints from hot ukrainians every day that we uh, play vr so i have to keep it to videos hang on isn't blackpool somewhere up here or is that on the other side yes yeah, on the other side there we go fly the coast guys Awesome stuff here. Never actually been to the coast round here, or that I remember. This is the map. When the map loads a new thing, it pauses. Uh, yeah, I used the CSL Elite pedals without load cell for a while, but you don't get a clutch. They're, they're fine. They're really good. But the load cell, I mean, they're good to get, and then with the intention of getting a load cell. Oh, this is this is awesome. It might be for you, Dom, but not for the not for the Ukrainians. My main reason for streaming is for the for the Ukrainian models. You know, that's that's one of my primary motivations for doing sim simulator content. Uh, we should be. A, it shouldn't take too long to get to Teesside from here, to be honest. Probably about 30 minutes, if that. CSL with loads are better than better or V3s. Well, you you get more options with the V3 pedals, um, and you can do more with them, and they've got the vibration motors on them. But the the CSL Elite load cell works fine. I'm not, I've been using the CSL load cell pedals here for, what, two or three months now? I, I love them. I mean, I, I think they're great. So you can, you know, if you, if you can get the V3s for not too much more, then sure, get the V3s, but the load, the Fanatex Elite load cell is perfectly fine. Yeah. Bearing in mind, I've got some... Um, what they're called, uh, Proto-SimTech pedals, which I was using before, which I I, I do, I, the Proto-SimTech pedals are better. I do prefer them to the uh, CSL Elite pedals, but it's not like I've, you know, these don't hinder me at all. So if you do get Fanatec stuff, check out our Fanatec affiliate link before you do. Just click on it. I'll appreciate that. <laughs> I don't get more flight sim streams, so maybe don't click on it. Don't encourage it.
Shell, 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 shell. Fanatec shell. Ah, beautiful. Uh, the main reason I'm not using them is because I plug these into the Fanatec wheelbase and I've got my buttons bound and it's easier to go from sim to sim and also I was playing the Forza and like non like non sim sim games tend to work better with Fanatec or Thrustmaster wheels Pro Sim Tech's dead I don't think they are I think they're doing alright they, they sell out straight away Thanks for subscribing, LM Moment, and uh, appreciate everyone that's uh, clicked the like button as well. Are they closing? Why are they closing? What are they closing for? Because they can't. They don't want to keep doing it, or I'll have to hit out the guy. Got a bit of a national park up here. Oh, we definitely have to do the Mac loop in this. But they're always selling out. Is it because they, they... What did they say on the website? That they don't want to do it anymore? Hang on a minute. We're going to end up in Newcastle if we're not careful. Oh, this looks gorgeous. That's a shame because they did a really good job. Uh, I don't have a discount code, no. I think the thing with the pedal stuff is you either have to you are you have to um, scale things up, like go full on hoosing belt, or otherwise you're just spending all your time building pedals as an individual, or you have to get like a Chinese company to to produce stuff, which means you're not going to get the same quality. Hang on a minute. I don't, I don't know where we are here. Oh, we've run out of bloody fuel. Ah, oh, Christ. Hang on. Airport. 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 Peter Lee. Let's land at this airport. Ah, oh, bugger me. Let's do the uh, daytime hack to get to see where that uh, where the airport is. We should be all right to make it. Lights on. Where's the airport? Oh, it's a bloody grass strip without any lights on it. Typical. Ah, uh, where's this airport? Guys, I don't see the airport. It's invisible. This must be a decommissioned airport. Oh, bugger. Oh, we're now plummeting towards the ground. Okay, that is a full-on stall. Oh, we are literally just plummeting to the ground here. What's going on here? Eject! Eject! Ah, eject! What? What? Ah. Why did we just lose? Well, that went well. Why did we... The plane just fell like a tank there. Oh, I think we found the airport, though. At least we crashed into the airport. <laughs> ah, that's another plane we've written off. <laughs> Whoops. This plane isn't particularly aerodynamic. Oh, there's the runway. Okay, well, let's take off from here. What's this? EG80. Oh, well, that's nice of him. Why is he thanking me? All I've, it was probably me that made them go bust. <laughs> I don't think they went bust. 
I don't think because it was just uh, it was him and his dad doing a lot of the stuff. So I imagine they were just like, well, hang on, we're just building loads of pedals here. I, I'd imagine it's just like a choice of like what they want to do because everyone wanted the pedals. All right, we can just we can land at this airport. Just remember this plane. Where's the actual runway here? Oh, is that it? Yeah, this plane, you have to be going so fast. Oh my, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Not happening. Touchdown. <laughs> Bump and jump. That's how you land this plane. Right. Oh, God. Yeah, there's something up with this. Uh... E G O A. Wash and go. Yeah, there's something up. Some of the planes in this are a bit weird. Like, the Cessna is absolutely amazing. But I think the jets in this in this sim are a little bit. <laughs> I just call them interesting. Like if you compare the jets in this to DCS, you'll know what I mean. Let's go for the Cirrus Cirrus Vision. And the Cirrus Vision is actually not. I think seems seems convincing in this to me. Hook on the ground. I just need a net to fly into. Right. We need to... Uh, I need to double check the map to see where Teesside Airport is. Should be pretty obvious. You've got, like, the, the River Tees. If we follow, follow the coast, actually, then it'll be obvious where it is. Oh, why is it loading? Oh, we're loading America. I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, God. Might be a while to load here, guys. We made a mis we made a huge error. Uh, let's re just just restart the sim. This is going to take ages, otherwise. Oh, dear. Huge error. Right. Reload the sim. Why did that not... I typed in the airport code, but it wanted to put us in America. You total div. I know. What's... What's... Oh, Christ. What was the name of the... Uh, Let's get an airport map on here. Google Maps. We've got to get to Teesside, whether it kills us. It should only be like 15 minutes away in a fast, in like a serious vision. So that was... We were... Oh, here we go. Hornsey. Near Hornsey. So, see, Hornsey Airport. Oh, Edsfield Airport, I think was that. That's what it was. What's its uh, code? Let's see if we can just type that in, actually. No, it's not in the sim. Does anyone know the uh, the code for Edsfield Airport? Hello, filing account. Oh, we were really close. We were pretty close.
Edgefield Airport code. What is it? UKGA. No. That's UK General Aviation. Uh, what's this bloody... In Six J six. It should be four. It should be four letters. Why is it not coming up? We could phone them and ask them what the airport code is. Hello, I'm in X plane. I can't find your airport. Please tell me. Six J six. I thought three was just for a transmitter. Oh, there you go. Ed Edgefield County. Fair enough. You learn something every day. Right, let's start the flight. It's loading. Might take a while. Hello, Chili Dog. Is Game of Muscle secretly trying to bore us to death? Probably. I'm trying to stay conscious in this heat. Lukala Airport in Nepal. <laughs> we're going to Teesside. We're, we're not that far away. We're about 15 minutes away from it in the, in the Sirius Vision. Please tell me everything. Please tell me all the security details about your airport. We're going to do War Thunder after this. Uh, I've not played War Thunder for a long time. Exactly, Delton. You've got to purge the memory until you know nothing. Oh, this is actually loading a bit faster here. Hello, Sound of Guns. Do you remember the fast show sketch where he flies his girlfriend to New York in real time on a flight sim? <laughs> oh, we're in a bloody field. This is oh, come on. No wonder we couldn't find it. Hang on a minute. This isn't right. Where? This isn't right. This isn't right. We're not in the north. Okay, we'll, we'll fly straight out and see if we end up at the coast. A bit of a bumpy takeoff. This doesn't even look like the UK. This isn't even UK. This, <laughs> this has loaded us in the wrong place totally. What country are we in? No wonder it loaded quickly. This is messed up. This isn't even in the UK. <laughs> Ah, uh, what's going on here? This is not... This, that's not right. South Carolina. That's not even the right country! Jesus Christ. We need... To... Okay, let's just do South Cave Mount... Mount Airy Airport. I like how there's a there's Brighton Airfield, which is actually in the north. Let's do Brighton Airfield. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. We've accidentally gone to the wrong country. What is the Brighton Airfield code? Six DS. No. James Snow, you know nothing. 
Maybe when you get to Yorkshire, none of the, uh, none of the planes, make, none of the airfields make any sense. Uh, EG-10, here we go. There we go, EG-10. We've got, we've got the airfield here. Finally. Oh, it's not fine. It's not in the sim. FAA code is what you need. Hang on, no, that's American. I get maybe it applies for everything. Bloody hell! Just want an airport, you know. H Y H U Y. There we go. Humberside Airport. If that doesn't work, there it is. Right, we've got an airport. E G N E G N J. Yes, yeah, start new. F right, finally. I just want an airport. I just want an airport. It's so hard to fly to Teesside when you've flown into Donington doing a loop the loop NSA intercept an airport information request I, I think we're good this might take a while to uh, load so one downside of Orbex is you uh, you die of old age as it loads. Well, I might need some crisps and some dip in a minute. Fly to America again. It took like two hours to fly over the Atlantic. Uh, what's in Teesside? Not much. It's a shopping centre. That's about it. <laughs> There's a little art gallery. Uh... There's a bit of misery and despair. There's a abandoned community destroyed by Margaret Thatcher. Um, what else is there? Uh, drug problem, homelessness issues, a lot of uh, a lot of burglary, a lot of bike theft, um, a lot of rain. You know, just your usual abandoned by London government British town. That that's what's what you find in Middlesbrough. So it's a nice place. Nice people. Ruined by the British government. <laughs> Salva Salvard has an airport. Nice and cool. Lovely scenery. Slight polar bear infestation. Well, the good thing with polar bears is they're quite fluffy. So if you need to slow down your plane, you just fly it into the polar bear. It's almost like a pillow. It's like a moving mammalian pillow. So I'd rather fly into a polar bear than a than an elk if I had to choose or an elephant a polar bear is a better to, to fly into than an elephant which is the best mammal to fly into to slow down if you had, you know probably is a polar bear you want something wide and fluffy maybe a field of alpacas A whale, a whale would just, that wouldn't be good. I can't think of anything better than a polar bear to fly into. A score of bunnies. They're too small. Your landing gear is just going to hit them and that's its thats it. You need something big enough that it absorbs the impact of the entire plane. What type of crisps do I like? All, I like any crisps. I don't normally have them, but I've got some uh, nachos. The nachos? I don't know what they're called. You know, you know, like Dorito -y crisps. Wow, this is loading fast. This is loading super quick. It always does. Probably going to all be dead by the time this finishes. They've got giraffes in X Plane in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, so that'll be interesting. School of Puff, they're, they're underwater counter debate. You haven't thought this through. You're going to have to penetrate the water before you get to the fish, by which point you probably slowed down. A country music festival. <laughs> 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 
Millennium Dome's probably quite good. You probably just bounce off it though. It's pretty, though it looks like a normal tent, it's pretty rigid. I have touched the Millennium Dome and it is, it isn't as bouncy as you might on first thought think it to be. Oh, here we go. Tarmac, right, look at that. We're in the right place. Sorted. Off we go, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Game of Muscle flight to Tees Valley Airport. We're continuing after having killed our previous passengers. Um, that probably won't happen again. Don't worry. Everything's under control. Flaps down. Tea bags in cup. Off we go. Let's go. Hey, Chris. I'm good. Off we go. This is a night. The Sirius Visions are a really nice plane in this. I would say the basic Cessna, uh, Cessna Skyhawk, and the Sirius Vision are probably the best planes in uh, X plane that are included. How cool is the P1? Just order the GT1 Evo. I, it's awesome. I'm sure the GTR Evo's fine as well, to be honest. I'm sure you like either. The GT1 Evo looks uh, really nice and solid, I have to say. But it's not that dissimilar from the P1, to be honest. Same, generally the same materials. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Where are we? Uh, we've got salted peanuts. <laughs> Bro. Bra. Borrow. I think it's... Oh, it'll be this one. EGNV must be T-side. There you go, Don't Tease Valley. Now called, uh, now known as, uh, let's just fly straight there. Now known as Teesside International Airport. Oh, you know what, I think this, this plane might be a bit too slow. We might need something a bit faster, guys. Hello, Scotty boy. Yeah, this is going to take too long. Right, let's land at another airport and we'll, we'll swap again. Let's land at... Let's land at EGMB and then we'll... We need to go back to the fighter jet. But the fighter jet doesn't land too well. That's the problem with that plane. Takes off okay. But it just doesn't do landings. Which is a little bit of a problem, I feel. Yeah, to be honest, I think the P1, for the most part, is a little bit overkill. Like, there's no... I don't see why the GT would be that much... Not as good, to, you know. Hello, Chris Wilson. Right, let's land at this airport unless we need to get something nippy. We can land a passenger jet there. That'll get there in about 20, 15, 15, 20 minutes. I'm, I'm starving. I, keep, I don't know what it is, but when it's warm, I get really hungry. I just want to drink, like, lager. Oh, there's the airport. I just want to drink lager and uh, eat unhealthy food. <laughs> I 
Right, we're going to land at this little airport. Look at that. I don't, I don't drink to get drunk. So that's not happening. That's random call cool signs trademark. <laughs> Loop de loops. All right, let's fly under the bridge. Let's fly under the bridge. Uh, I, th I think I see it fine. I don't know. I've not used one. Here we go. Let's get. Let's get under this bridge. Nah, this is a really tall bridge. This is easy. Nice and easy. Okay, it's not that tall, actually. <laughs> but it's a bit higher than it was. Perfect. Now, where's this airport? It should be right in front of us. Why have they got... Why are there two cranes? Right from the airport. Yeah, we're going to play War Thunder after this. I've just I've just installed it. I've not played it yet, but it's all installed and ready to go. So get War Thunder. It takes about 40, 40 minutes to download. It's on Steam. Free to play. Yeah, remember, this is using Orbex scenery packs. That's, that's not... That's, surely they don't have that there at the end of the runway. You don't typically put big, tall, thin structures at the end of a runway. It's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I'm excited to try War Thunder. We're, we're playing... I wanted to fly to the new Teesside Airport, though, because... Uh, it's just opened. Well, I think it's opening in 2020 to public flights, but I thought it'd be fun to fly there. Like a bit of flight sim action. Yeah, let's let's uh, avoid the windmill. <laughs> Bad windmill placement. Let's put this highly likely to be flown into an aircraft type structure right in front of a runway. Genius. Probably a... Uh, oh, look. It's, well, I don't know what that's about. Bring it in. Oh, that was a smooth landing. I'm, I'm at one with this. Me and this serious vision. We know what's going on. Smooth. You didn't even, didn't even notice the transition between the uh, tarmac and the air then. That's a top top ten landing for me. Right, we need to... Hang on, first of all, what was it? EGNB. EGNB. We need something quick, but not too big. 737 will do. That's perfect. That'll land at Teesside Airport as well. Last time this loaded us in bloody America. Better not. It's better not loaded in America. I'm gonna have a breakdown if this loads us in America. No, there we go. Perfect. And we've got to avoid the bloody windmills. 
Okay, here we go, guys. Let's go to Dayton. Welcome aboard this flight from Bar Airport in the UK. We're flying to uh, Teesside Airport. Flaps down. Brakes on full. And off we go. Uh, I didn't see a Thrustmaster treat, no. Tweet, I'll have to have a look. I'm, I'm really, really excited for... I can't say that word anymore because companies have ruined it. I'm really hopeful that... Uh, oh, my God. Okay, we're all right. I'm really hopeful that... Uh, Flight Sim 2020 ends out, ends out decent. Look at that. Two petabytes. Yeah, but I mean, that it depends how they're calculating that. It depends. Like, I guess they're probably going to just stream the textures off servers in chunks. Do you know what I mean? I mean, in theory, if you're using Ortho for XP with XP 11, it's like, well, yeah, that's like whatever size Google Maps is. Do you know what I mean? So... They're just... I think all, all all they've done... I say all they've done. It's impressive regardless. They'll have probably integrated Bing satellite data with their flight sim. And I'm really... You know, it makes sense. They've got they've got Bing satellite maps. Why not integrate it with a game? Why not, why not make money out of it? So uh, that's basically what they're doing. So that will allow them to, marketing-wise, go, Oh, 14 million bingo mobs of data! It's like, well, yeah, it depends... All it comes down to is, does it actually? How does it work? It's, it's not necessarily the satellite data that's important. It's the like individual buildings, and if they're doing like, you know, with Google Maps, how the 3D terrain on that works. That's what we really need, and it looks like they might be doing something like that. So that'll be what's super impressive. That's what's interesting. If you look at the 3D scan stuff in Google Maps it's really nice with a bit of 3D buildings just on PC right now flaps up off we go to Teesside hope you guys are excited I think we'll fly the coast and then we can fly under the transporter bridge. How long have we been streaming for? Two, two hours, eight minutes. That's not too bad. Considering we've... What's that about? Considering we've been to Dono. Done a bit of a stunt flight. Ay, 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 man! We're gonna all go down tune. We're gonna have a. We're gonna get a Parmo. Uh, it's not too bad. I got a fan blown on me. It's quite warm, but it's all right. I'm alive. What? I don't know why we've been booped. We're doing a normal speed here. Flaps are up. What's the booping about? Nice and smooth sailing here. Do we, are any of you guys uh, joining us in, in War Thunder after this? The gear's up, yeah, otherwise it would be going mental. See that big stick? This is the gear stick here. Beta of what in September? Ghost Recon or something? Uh, 
We need more speed! What's War Thunder? It's a World War Two free-to-play dogfighting tank and boat game. Kind of Simcade. I guess you could call it Simcade. I mean, well, what do you want to know about the menu? I don't know where the speedo is on this plane. I think it's this here. Altitude, speed. I don't know what that's in. A oh, Mac 0.6. I guess that's what that is. So that must be... Is that not... Smooth sailing, guys. We've done lift for speed before. The, the problem with lift for speed is I, I quite like it, but um, a lot of people don't have it, and there's no point in really buying it. I know they're updating it, but it's still, you know, it's because it doesn't have mod support, and outside of it being lift for speed, which should play to death, it's, you know, it's not really worth people spending the, the price of it's quite expensive as well so it's really good but it's not worth me saying to people I'll buy it because you know so I, I tend to only really like to stream stuff when it comes to multiplayer that is worth other people buying to take part if that makes sense yeah we we I've done BLGP and SO City or whatever it is in the basic package to death. M82. <laughs> We'd like a giraffe steak. Boom. Thank you, M82. Uh, yeah, we'll be serving giraffe steaks. We have a choice. Uh, the dinner service is actually now just work working its way through the plane. Um, we have a choice of. I would like to order a giraffe steak. We have a choice of kangaroo, giraffe, caiman, um, rhino meat, <laughs> uh, <laughs> white rhino. We actually uh, slaughtered the last white rhino just so we could serve it to you on this plane. Because Game of Muscle Airways is pure luxury. Uh, we have endangered species. Uh, we're actually serving albino giraffe steak. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, offer, we offer the best food on this flight. That's what you get with Game of Muscle Airways. <laughs> High quality, tasty, endangered species for dinner. Uh, we do have panda burgers for children. Where's the transport bridge? Thank you uh, for that for that donation, M82. Appreciate that, man. Uh, the, the the albino giraffe will be served with a side order of uh, puffer fish. And uh, narwhale tongue. So uh, look forward to that. I quite like kangaroo, to be honest. Just tastes like uh, 
tastes like any tastes the same as like um, any of those sort of game more game like foods like deer T actually it does taste like it does taste like venison but it's more chewy that's why I made a burger uh, how many souls on board? Well, given that it's all Game of Muscle viewers and uh, anyone that views this channel is indeed soulless, um, no souls on board. So that's convenient because when we crash, then we'd have to report it. Uh, giant tortoise. Uh, yeah, we have a few. That's for next week's flight, though. A tortoise is supposed to taste really nice. You'll find out on next week's flight when we serve it up. Transport bridge is actually... Inland, should I say? Here we go, guys. Tees the river. Tees, te I'm teasing you all with the river. Tees. out of control with my camera here it's very hard with this tables wobbling oh dear stop wobbling whoa red oh jesus made a mistake guys ah oh, hang on recovered recovered bloody hell few flips there <laughs> just a little, little bit of a roll for you guys sorry uh, for those of you that threw up the uh, kangaroo burger there <laughs> I just like to keep I like to keep things uh, interesting for the passengers Zero G flight there. Hope you enjoyed that. Where's the transport bridge? Should be. Oh, there's the football club. So it should be. Uh, there's Middlesbrough FC. <laughs> transport bridge should be round the corner. Are oh, they not? Oh, there it is. There it is. I see the train line. There's transport bridge. I oh, know. Hang on a minute. Ah, oh, they've not put. Have they not put the transport bridge in this? I'm sure it should be over there. Well, I got confused here. There's like a. Uh, there's the. Um, What's it called? What's next to Teesside? It's an, there's another university. They do. It's a sports university. They've got like a, a, a kayak run, a white water centre. Any jet is an acrobatic jet if you try hard enough. Unfortunately, we're missing the transport bridge here. Darlington should be... I think that's Darlington that we're flying over there. That seems a bit close. Transport Bridge should be here. Should be that. Should be right in front of us. Ah, oh, no. They've not modelled... Well, we're fine. We don't need to pull up. We're fine. There's Transport Bridge. Unfortunately, it's not 3D. Ah, oh, no, we can't fly under it it's not modelled. This car's going across Transport Bridge <laughs> as if it's a road bridge. It's not. It's like a big swing. Right, let's land at Teesside Airport then.
Where's Teesside Airport? Should be in front of us somewhere. I'm not seeing it. It's so hard to see airports in the daytime. Oh, it's right in front of us. Ah, uh, we're coming in too, way too quick. We have to go past it and then... It's that thing right in front of us there. Uh, or maybe it isn't. That looked like an airport. It might just... Uh, no, that's just a field. <laughs> Mistakes were made, guys. That's just a field. I mean, it could be an airport. It could be a field. No, that's just a field. <laughs> Where's this airport? Call an ambulance. I can't see... Oh, there it is. There it is. And now I see it. So we'll fly past it and turn around. There he is, guys. It's quite a long uh, runway. I mean, a field's not that bad to land in. Let's be optimistic here. Look at that! Teesside International Airport. The world has now arrived at Teesside. Let's land there. And uh, we're good. Then it's off to World War II. Well, we can continue. Next time we play this, we'll fly to Glasgow. Landing gear down. Turn it in like an F1 car. Pull them Gs, guys. I like to make our flights exciting for for the passengers. We're fine. This plane is such a nagger. Coming in a little hot. Whoa! Get those brakes on a little bit fast. Probably about 100 miles an hour too quick. Whoa! The runway's ending. Stop. Oh, look, they've, they've thought about They knew that I was landing here, so they put a bit of extra tarmac at the end. That was handy. There we go. <laughs> That's how it's done, guys. No, no, we're fine. They, they knew that we were landing, so they've extended the runway for us. Well thought out, Teesside Airport. Look at that. Still on the tarmac. The Game of Muscle extension. So they did a good job with Teesside Airport. It's all been thought about. I think that was a pretty good landing, I have to say. We didn't break anything. Unethical and unsafe airline. The best airline. I guess if we could do a donut. Hang on. Where's that going? We don't want to go there. We have to go back to the airport. Exactly, we offer value for money. Let's 
Let's get back to the terminal quickly. No messing about. Look how bouncy the suspension is. It's like a monster truck. Wong, wong, wong. I don't know what the handle is in front of us. I guess that's to hold on to when you're going upside down. I'm going to try and do a donut to celebrate getting to, to this airport. Starfleet recruiting! What's this about? I'm not supplying money for necessities. We have been observing your streams and have decided you have what it takes to be here. Starship Captain, you will have demonstrated the required levels of reckless behavior, boldness and lust for aliens that we are looking for. Are you ready to join us? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thanks for that donation. <laughs> Captain Jean-Luc Mussel. Okay, let's do a donut on this bit of tarmac here. This looks big enough. You ready, guys? Full power donut. <laughs> Actually, we need a little bit more space. I mean, look at this pretty nicely modelled airport, considering this is literally a nothing airport. Not that I'd say that about Teesside Airport, but you know. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's load it up for a... A donut. Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, no, there's the building! Oh! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> 737 donut! And look at his parking! Spot on! <laughs> That is how you park a 737. That's why people pay extra to fly with Game & Muscle American Airways. I think you could probably drift this. Let's see if we can. Oh, I don't know how to... Look at the uh, wheels. You can go proper... Oh, we got clearance. It's okay. Right, let's see if we can drift this. We're trying to drift it around this corner. We like throw it in a bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that drift! Oh! <laughs> smoke coming off the wheels Woo! what a drift <laughs> what a drift oh we had smoke and everything right let's try and do it we'll try and do a third person loop here from this that was pretty pretty good Right, let's, let's see how much how many G's we can pull. You're grounded for insubordination. Oh, this plane handles like a like a boss. There's the airport. Let's let's buzz the tower. <laughs> Pretty close. Right, loop the loop time. Oh, look at that! I'm not sure if we'll be able to complete this. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. 
Oh, he's going to be close. No, we got it. We got it. Bit <laughs> oh, this plane flies like a dream. Uh, okay, maybe not now. Ah, there's the ground. <laughs> easy, easy. Totally un under control. We're just testing out. We're doing a testing out the flight dynamics. What do you do if you're walking in the countryside? The 747 flies past you at a knife edge, five meters above the ground. We're ripping it. Let's buzz this building. Ice the football club. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, we lost control there. Got into a bit of uh, interesting dynamics. Oh, we're over T side now. Seaside Uni underneath us. That's cool. You can get into like a sideways stall. Look at this. Okay. No. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! A bit of an oscillation! It's someone's house. Oh, that's not good! That's not good! Oh! <laughs> We've landed in a car park. Hello, Steve. Oh, bugger. Okay. Right. Right, uh, perfectly normal landing there. Welcome to Teesside. Now we got to the airport, all is good. Everything's fine, you may now leave the aircraft. You might want to leave via the front as there's less fire there. <laughs> Righty, off to War Thunder guys. I'm going to uh, do a new uh, title. So we're back. This stream's going to stop and start. But uh, thanks for... Thanks for... Well, I'll read the credits out. Uh, I'll be about, be about 10, 15 minutes. And we'll do, do War Thunder. So make sure you've got it installed, everybody. And uh, join in with us. But uh, thanks for flying with Game of Muscle Airways from London City to... to T Teesside International Airport. And then uh, from Teesside International Airport upside down into the ground. Off we go, guys. To the credits for this stream. Back in 15 minutes. It's the end of the stream. It's the end of the stream. We're going to read the credits out here. There we go. Thanks for taking part. Thank you to all the donors. Pepperidge Farm. Starfleet Recruiting. The Super Chats. Scott Scott. M82. Subscriptions. Jackson Dennis. LM Moments. And thanks BC for becoming a member of the Teapot Club. I'll see you guys in a bit. Goodbye.